Andre France, top left. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Positive Glad, and welcome back to the Sunday Drive. The best place to be on a Sunday night, of course. We have ourselves a very, very full lobby here this evening, guys. Driving around the track of La France, Paul Ricard. We're in, of course, France for the French Grand Prix. Well, we wouldn't be in Germany for the French Grand Prix. It was Uzbekistan for the French Grand Prix, so I thought we might as well show up in France, to be fair. Um, right then, so... We have a lobby of 18. We're going to run through the lobby really quickly. We've got Rashi, Gunners, Swish, Big G, Guests, Guest Reserve, First Reserve, Drive here for Senna. Last week's winner, Zero, of course, Reserve. Last, first, last week. Goomba, Tukas, Gamerman, Grit, Becker, Massey, Redman, Dartmark, Rog. We've got Dolby, Clem, GN Opens, who I've still not fucking worked out who it is yet. And joining me on commentary box, uh, we've got uh, Ethan Barth. Who the bloody hell is that? Well, I, I guess he's reserve. Um, okay. Joining me tonight, guys, is someone I've done, not done commentators with for a while, but we've had a couple of absolute blasts in the past. It is myself working with Ryan. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. How are you? I'm pretty good, mate. Um, little lady is staying at her granddad's tonight, so we've not had to pick her up yet, so we're doing a good job so far. Um, so a little bit louder by me. Not I'm going to be... Not, not Destiny loud, because that was kind of bad earlier. Uh, <laughs> and hopefully no wrong turns here for the guys, as I am a master of that art. Right then, so, uh, big um, big news will be revealed at the end of the stream, of course. We're going to be inviting Darkmark in for an interview. But other than that, we are going to go live on track in a few minutes, Mark. We'll be with us, as I said, at the end. So, Ryan, uh, French Grand Prix. Obviously, it's a track where you could take 747 and a half lines. Um, th there's no walls between one side of the track to the rest of the country. Um, what, what are your thoughts about the French Grand Prix, then, mate? <laughs> Well, um, it's the last time we'll be seeing this layout of the French Grand Prix, that's for sure. Um, they're tweaking, like, do you know where the straight is, middle sector, where you just come out of sector one, go around that loop right-hand corner to the left straight, DRS basically, left, right, left, back around to that swooping right corner? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think they're tweaking that, uh, the little chicane area to make it just one swooping right corner. Oh, mate. Oh, <laughs> that'd be kind of beast. And... Um, yeah, I'm surprised they didn't do it. It's a really, really good way to do it, actually, if you think about it, isn't it? But... Yeah, it's the... Uh, so you got, mate. Yeah, it's the third different um, layout of this French Grand Prix circuit in the three years it's been back on the calendar. <laughs> Even though we didn't... Did we... Yeah, we had done this year, didn't we? Did we? Yeah. We didn't race France this year, did we? Not in real life. No, but... I was going to say, we didn't do it in real life. But no, they, no. they tweaked the pit lane, didn't they? Oh, yeah, and then, of course, they never, we're not even able to fucking do it. So, this center, oh, God, that's a bit loud. Fucking hell. In my ear. Um, so, we've got the guys, we've got Gamer Man. He's going to be first man out on track, of course, Gamer Man, ever improving. Um, looking to kind of hopefully get a couple of finishes. That's a bit. Under his belt, God, they're all pouring out on track at the moment. We've got four cars out on track. I have seen Senna's livery, by the way. It looks oh, it's God, lovely. That's not the ideal way to go. Watch out, Gamer Man, Jesus. Uh, I need to do that on a qualifier, I've already said. Anyone blocking on qualifying laps will get severely punished, so you've got to be very careful. If you think the car's fast behind you, get the F out of the way. Seven these guys immediately. Thank you very much for what? Oh my good Jesus. What? Uh, is oh that? God. Yeah, it's Ra Rashi. Just Rashi. Nearly his, Rashi nearly had his bloody heart and live. Rashi with another new livery. I think this is my favourite livery of Rashi's. It's kind of, I love that sort of like purpley pink spiral going across the car, man. Almost like a sort of mm -hmm. Vimpto effect there, quite frankly. Uh, let's see if anybody actually takes the corner correctly. Oh, they do. I thought they were going to go straight on just for shits and giggles, really. Uh, but here we go, then. So, heavy, big, big, big news in TSD. Eight rounds to go. Dartmark versus Massive, the championship hotting up gap is six points. And somebody else has just joined. Who was that? I don't know, but just to give you the update. So that little chicane in the middle sector that I was on about, it's just turning yeah. into one big, long straight. Hey, that's going to be... 200, 205, 210 plus miles an hour going down there, Jesus Christ. They reckon it's going to match the length of the Baku straight. Maybe say, more. It'll be the biggest straight, wouldn't it? It'll be the biggest straight in the calendar, obviously, with Vietnam not technically being in it anymore. Oh, we got right, so, Saudi Arabia coming next year, which will be interesting. Yeah, because F1 are making absolutely no money on that oil refined deal. <laughs> so, um, here we go then. We've got uh, Rashi for his first lap here today. Around Paul Ricard, let's get on board with them. Turn one, let's see how he takes it. Pretty decently is how you want to do it. I'm literally, I've just done this one. I'm actually doing this race in my career mode, guys. That's going to be on, I believe it's Tuesday. Or tomorrow in the day, if we don't do another four-hour Destiny stream. Uh, moving on. We have uh, Rashi coming round there. Just that's coming up, still coming to the end of Sector 1 now. 
very, very technical kind of sector, isn't it? Sector, and even though you wouldn't have thought it, especially with these complex corners, so, so easy to hit the curb, it validates spin. Very, very daunting part of the track. So we're going to go into broadcast cam. Let's watch Rashi absolutely pile down the main so straight here. Instead of breaking this time next year, he'll be just going flat out straight down. Be interesting, mate. How quick are they going to go into that swoop and right? Like, I mean, because imagine if it's wet, that'd be quite dangerous, I reckon. Especially the speed at which you're going, because it's not like a heavy braking zone, really. And then straight into a hairpin turn, right basically. There. Exactly. Unless you get the G's for the Gamer man pulls out his lap time. It's going to be rude. I think game has just moved out of the way of somebody. I didn't see who that was just by the white dot. I believe that is a uh, dark mark. Incidentally, Mark, as I mentioned, going for the championship at the moment. Six points clear. Ironically, um, oh, Rashi coming out to the corner. Viraj De Bender. That is oh, the name. genuine corner name. What a name. <laughs> Absolute scenes of a name, that one. Um, and then so coming out to Viraj uh, De La Tour. I was going to say, Viraj the complete bender, but if you want to... If we're going to go proper corner names, <laughs> we'll move on from there. Rashi, coming down the main straight now, what sort of lap time are we looking at? I reckon a lap time in the 28th to 29th is going to be looking at pole. They've moved the start finish straight about 100 metres further down this, this year. And it's a 1 minute 32.6 game of man is coming along. And Dark Mark has absolutely blown that out of the park. On the medium tyres, that is one hell of a lap there. I think Rashi was just getting a banker lap. Oh, do you reckon so? Just kind of getting the softs warmed up, basically. Dark Mark, of course, is there. It is confirmed on the bottom of the screen now. 30.384. Psycho Swish, one of the favourites in this race, of course. There's not really had much luck this season, but there you go. Oh, my good Jesus, he's put fucking nine temps on him. Holy cow. That's a nice delivery. I'm trying to think what it's former a new, it's team. It's a new comms team, but my old comms team. I've been working with Ryan for many, many moons. So, we'll pause it a minute, see so if we can get Mark's time off the screen there. Got a bit of a slow, slow update at the bottom, so we're going to have to... Pay close attention to that. Mine's I might start doing guest commentators every week. Literally pause it, mate. It's coming straight off the screen now and it's kind of began to redo. We'll have a look at Tukas. At the ever improving Connor. Um, I'm really, really having a Rara right, right, coming across the line. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just on board with Tukas. Rara, right, right, he's on his lean and non or standard and non run, is he? Puts in, there you go. Ooh, that's Massey then. Massey beating Dark Mark. Not Meg two shits. It's a one minute thirty one point eight. It. He's beating Rashi, but of course, I believe Rashi's just kind of getting his eye in. Clem has invalidated. Clem hates Redmond's invalidated. Hashed that PMS comms team. Yeah, boy. Uh, Redmond's, Redmond's invalidated. We've got Dolby, who invalidated his previous time. Is he just going to come into the pits? I don't know. We've got a red dot coming around. That is Gamer Man. Is he going to come again? Dolby's finishing his lap. Okay. Oh! Yeah, man, that's not the right angle to come in there. You probably have to go a little bit wider into the corner. Good evening, Gunners. Hope you're having a lovely day, man. Oh, he's he's retired. Um, oh, qualifying bad, of course. Yeah, yeah. Forgive me there, mate. You should have gone out. If I forgot. <laughs> I totally fucking forgot. Redmond. Ooh, Redmond. That's a... Oh, God, that's me. I think he rode more curb than Miley Cyrus rode a wrecking ball, to be fair. That's not ideal. And that's a very <laughs> bright car. Mate, some of the car liveries. We, we had... Uh, Lee made a... Oh, Who's that yellow flag, black dot getting out of the way there? I think he got out of the way. I, I didn't quite catch what happened. I think that was Massey. No, yeah, Massey getting out of the way of Tukas, I believe. Rara coming up oh, to the end of his lap. Rara is he? Yeah, he's running. As you see, he's running the non-standard. He literally um, does a few laps, gets his eye in, and then goes for one final lap at the end of the season. Rara, of course, had a very, very good night last night mate, in PRF1. Those of you who caught my stream got himself points in Hanover as I just kind of. 32.4 puts in P7 on the standard loan. Anyone oh, come around? Oh, Little lady's crying. She wants to come out. <laughs> oh, bless her. Beck is invalidated, mate. So Beck is invalidated early on in his lap. Uh, Redmond has also validated, of course, the second time. Obviously, Becker is coming back onto tracks the safest way. It's really hard to come back on the circuit when you come off at France. No. It's, it's, mate, France is one of them tracks, isn't it, where it's just like you can't... You, there's so little room to manoeuvre, isn't there? Even though there's loads of runoff, it's an incredibly tricky track to kind of be able to get back on properly. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Gunners went out on track. Yeah, yeah, you just get himself... Yeah, to get your setup, Gunners, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. So we've got Massey there, we've got Becker, still mate, literally nobody's actually on a, a timed lap yet. You should be coming up. Massey also in the med also in the twenty nines on the medium tire. Any five tenths off. Psycho like Swish. It's not a bad one there at all. Swish there was yeah, basically Swish looking pretty decent at the moment in terms of that. 
Uh, Massey, what'd you say? You gotta get a bedroom ready. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Rowett's still on his initial lap there. I'm just gonna stick up with a Goomba, mate. He's currently doing... A lot of these guys are running the kind of light lean or standard and lean and non stuff. Which kind of is a good way to do it. I'm gonna be speaking a bit quiet there, obviously, when, in a few minutes when the little lady comes back in, by the way. Um, she stayed at her granddad's and basically is missing us. So, she's coming back home. Uh, <laughs> um, so, Goomba is still running lean. Becker's going lean, for another lap. A quick lap. So Becker's actually had Becker's going for a quick one. Let's watch Becker as he comes through the first couple of corners. You can't afford to ride these curbs too hard. That's much better. He's gone wide there. And he, oh, that could have been a validation there, right? That's frankly. very lenient. We've from seen the it many a time. I'll say, yeah, especially with the game, it usually does kind of. Well, let, let's let, let's bring the language up to 18 plus. It kind of fucks the shit out of you, basically, going through them corners. Becker, purple first sector? I, I, I wouldn't say that was purple, but it's given him purple, so I guess it has given him a bit of a boost. Um, so here we go, Becker. Have a lot back straight now. It'll be not, as Rice said, it'll be even, even longer fucking back straight next year. Um, so he comes around at me. I thought, we'd, mate, I thought he was going to generally take it as a full straight. I didn't think he was going to break. Oh, he spun it. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, that's not ideal. You can't go back down. Um, you can't do it again. Yeah, mate, you got that, yeah, yeah, that way. <laughs> you, you only get one chance, mate. <laughs> it, it's a one-stop one shot. This one. And by the way, Rog, um, who has been improving greatly. Here on Big G this season. Just on his lap. On main lap. We've got a boy, Big G. Um, currently running in P3 at the moment. Which I'm at, I'm having a mint. Nom nom. <laughs> Just because everybody needed to know that shit. Yeah. Uh, Big G is actually a tenth off what Becca did. So maybe Becca did have purple first sector. Because Big G is about six tenths of a second, just over. Just over six tenths, of, just over, sorry, forgive me, over, yeah, it is just over six tenths, isn't it? And Roger so started so his fresh medium lap. There you go, um, yeah, just over six tenths of a second down. Roger starts his lap, we'll get up over Roger. It's a nice white some, and black livery. Hey, a lot of these guys have really put some time and effort into liveries. We had a, a livery video uh, before the start of the year, uh, before the start of the season. And obviously, everybody has changed their fucking livery since the start of the fucking season, or nine tenths of people have, anyway. But here we go, then. Big G, once again, right, a very, very tricky corner, this coming up here, the, the turn 12 corner, how tricky and difficult it is to kind of get it right. That's it's, beautifully it's done. It took me about six months, it's beautifully done, it took me six months to not hit too much of the curb or go over the outside. It's literally a case of threading the needle. So here comes Big G, then he comes, will he be able to... That's a nice place, place so. last corner. He's absolutely smashing this at the moment, we're going to see a 29 here, surely to Christ. Is it a 29? It certainly is. 29-2. It's, it's Paul, provisional Paul. But Swish is coming back on track on the soft tyres, so he has seen Big G do that. In fact, he started his lap now. We're going to go, however, on board with Rog, who you did point out, right, is on a lap, and he certainly is. He's currently on sector three. And the final corner he goes. What sort of time is Rog going to do? I think it's going to be in the 31s, would it? Yeah, 31 2. Not bad. That's sixth position, not bad. Rashi not bad. is the Rog. next medium runner coming around on fresh. Tires. He's a sec second up. He's the next one. Second up on that time. This is going to be Rashi's final run, you'd imagine. Unless he goes for a soft run at the end. You would imagine, wouldn't you? Do we leave the oven on for you to turn off? Yeah. I'll leave it on, yeah? Okay. Yeah, a little lady was crying. Oh, that is Velociraptor. Just uh, the world's shittest league race. I'll let you, I'll see exactly what you put, because Jesus Christ, I thought I'd say that big since I, since I was meant to write when I knew it. Right, <laughs> here comes Rashi, coming around the final corner, he is coming down the main straight, and he gets himself in a P4. 1 minute 30, points 2, 3, 7. Who is next? Is it Swish? Is it Swish? It is Swish, the next one on a timed run. Oh, the Tukas. Has he that? Yes, he has, so that pisses over those chips. Uh, Swish. Everyone in the final sector is like a little group hug. It won't, it's like an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting on the, the final sector. Um, and I, I'm surprised I'm not part of it. Uh, right, so here comes Swish. Come around the final corner. He sees Tukas just in front of him. It's, he's, not, he's not close enough to pick up the toe. This should be pole position with an absolute number one bullet, and it is. 1 minute 28.6, guys. Answer that. I guess that is an answer that moment, isn't it? Jesus. There's your time, guys. Go and beat it. Gunners is coming, uh, Gamer Man, sorry, is a little bit slow, I have to say Gunners, his name was right at the bottom, I looked too far down. Gamer Man, and not quite up to speed yet. Struggling. 6.7. Becker's about to start his lap. 
Oh, it's still out on track, running the, the standard and not. You think he'd want to get himself into the pits, quite frankly. Yeah, he's pretty... in the top ten. Oh, he's, he's in the top. You don't want to start on those. But saying that, if he doesn't get a lap time and he's starting on those tyres, he's going to be goosed. Unless, obviously, other people displace him. Speaking of displacing, here comes Dolby around the final sector now. Round the good old turn 12, the difficult corner that me and Ryan just spoke about. Coming round now, the final complex. I think it's actually technically 14, isn't it? I think that's how they call it. Let's have a look. Just, he rode the curb quite well. He's, he's not really... I'm going to predict a 31.2. It's going to be a low thing. It's going to be very close oh. to Raj. And it's a 31.6. 31.6. Maybe lost a little bit of time for the final sector. Uh, oh, look at how good it's been game man getting out of the way of Rara there. Um, that was an interesting one. Um, I think Rara will need to definitely put in... Yeah, okay, Becker's just coming through the middle, middle sector. Will he keep it on the track this time? Yes. Yeah, we need back Yeah, he did. He's, he's learned his lesson. He's learned his lesson completely. Uh, of course, the stream will be getting a bit quieter, guys. When the little lady comes back, that'll be when you hear my voice go down to like this. That starts sounding like Motley. <laughs> um, so, Becca, in the banana livery, the old, good old fashioned 2016 Renault livery. Uh, Grits and Rara battle should be good tonight. Six points separate them. Right, by the way, everybody who finishes scores. Lee Woodsy in the chat, aka Lee, will be letting you guys know. Live updates from everything that's happening. 11 views, guys. Thank you for watching. If we have got any new viewers here tonight, every Sunday, you'll be able to witness this absolutely incredible league going down in its fucking pump. So, I believe we've got a couple of cars right behind there. Clem. Oh, no, it wasn't Clem. So, Becca coming around the final corner. And what's he going to do? Oh, that's a lap. Becca, what a lap. Becca, mate, you're higher than what he usually is. Great stuff. Great is invalidating this next lap. Oh, are you joking? Clem so great, it's going to be down the bottom. is on his lap. Clem, very, very, he's improved a lot, Clem. He, well, saying that, he just had shit luck. <laughs> he's a very good driver. He just can't stay out of fucking incidents. Rara, by the way, out of a matter of interest, is outside the top ten. As we were talking about earlier, Rashi has said, oh, that's me, done, dusted, and signed out. He will be waiting now on the medium tyre to see if he can get that top 10 spot, well it doesn't really make a difference if he fucking does it, doesn't it, really, does it? he's going to be starting on probably the mediums anyway, um, so, Clem, final corner, what can Clem do, in his own admission he's had a terrible season, I'm going to predict a 30.1, inside the 30s here, no we're not, but he's going to be quite three. high one with 30.3, just behind, 5,000 soft dark mark, mark. I'd say just behind, fucking hell, you can separate the pube widths, um, I love it, it still says he's on no laps though, that's, that's interesting, his tyres haven't gone up, I don't understand why that is. Uh, getting very nicely clever. Rara's gone on fresh of... mediums in the pits, you'd want to get out now. Swish. Swish has come back out. <laughs> Jesus. Mass is out on track. Ooh, who's that? Uh, Dak is showcasing the amount of different lines you can take around this French Grand Prix. Um, unfortunately, not all of them legal by the looks of that one. Massey's, oh, um, so, wow, uh, Massey's car. Oh, Massey's Rob Darkmark's livery from a few weeks. Oh my fucking god, Joseph and his technical a fucking dream coat. Holy Christ. Oh, I've got to take advantage mate, of this beer. I've been, I've been allowed to stream for as long as she stays out for. <laughs> oh, we've got Rara. Rara on track. Okay. I think Rara's, yeah, Rara's actually the first person going around to do a lap. Or is, it, is it him or Goomba? It is Rara. He is on a time lap time. Then, of course. He certainly is. Coming now down to, oh god, who's that in the background? Game of man off, yeah, game man off, okay. Fairly out of the, off the racing line there. Um, so, no shenanigans in qualifying so far. Rod just pulled off and, well, basically said, that's me done for qualifying. He's in ninth position at the moment, P9. Um, I don't, that GN Openta, um, I, I still want to know who he is. Uh, it's a D-I-R, T-I-R Dean, I think it might be Dean, I'm not sure. <coughs> <coughs> Saying that, Woodsy has just said he has a leopard print helmet too. It's the Wave Mobile. <laughs> Here we go then. He so does as we well. He's <laughs> oh God of my life. He's gone full Mandy Dingle for this race, guys. <laughs> Fucking hell. Here comes Rara. What can he do? This is... Oh, it's not... This isn't looking quick. This is... Is he on an outlap by any chance? It's... That was an outlap. It said it was on a time lap. Why up as a main lap? Just pause this a minute. Yeah, it's, it's not updating all my shit properly, mate. Big G's retired. He's currently there. Swish is five tenths up. Clem's just happy with that. I'd be happy with it too, Clem. Great lap. Swish, he could be in the 20 fucking sevens here. Um, so that means Goomba is on a quick lap then. 
What will Goomba do? Beating a 1 minute 32.4. He goes and puts it in with a 1 minute 30.7. Impressive lap by Goomba. Puts himself in PA. Good stuff. Swish is uh, even more up on his time after the second sector. Who's closest? It is Swish. There's a black car. It is not Massey. Who's the black dot then? Redman on outlap. He hasn't validated. And he just comes in the pits. He's not got enough time to complete the lap, Redman. Oh, he's missed out. But he is in P9 at the moment. A couple of cars behind are a little bit quicker. It's Dolby then. It's, it's, no, it's Swish, isn't it? Sorry, forgive me. I, I get confused with the two blue fucking dots. Swish, coming round to the final corner. He's about a second up on anyone else's day. Tukas was one second. He lost a second on his time. And he gets one with 31.8. Swish, for God's sakes, 28.454. He lost four that, tenths in the last sector. Four tenths? Of a, that could have been a 27. Unless he's botched the last sector somewhere. Um, here we go then. This is going to be it. I think Massey's got P2. Right, oh, right. Jesus, I've just seen that. Massey half a tenth off. Rara, very impressive. Sixth in the medium medium. time. Very impressive. Here comes Dolby. Oh, didn't complete his... Dolby. He's a second up. Dol that will put him. Goodness me, if he keeps us. He, he will be had a dark mark if he gets this corner. Oh, that bit wide onto the curb. How could that be a 30.352? Oh. No. 5 eight. <laughs> nah. But it is a hey, 1 minute, it's a 30.518 at Dolby. Top 10, well done. So, there you have it guys. Qualifying Swish, Massey, Big G, Becker, Rashi, Rara, Dartmark, Clem, Dolby, and Goomba in the top 10. Redman gets his own choice of ties. And for fuck's sake, it's done it three second week in a row. Damn it. So this is of course where Ryan will take over, of course. Well um, In a couple of minutes. If you want to, I mean, believe the guys are in silence, but you are pretty decent at doing the filler. <laughs> if you want to, mate, I mean, this is totally up to you, like. Uh, Redman, 11th, Rog, 12th, Tukas, 13th, Game of Man, the final time lap on 14th, and then, of course, our reserves, Penta, Senna, Gunners, and Zero, but Grit didn't do time. Did he go out? Sure he did. He never qualified, man. Stop talking about my helmet, says Massey. I'm not fucking seen it yet. So, the grid, it'll time. be Cycle guys. Swish, uh, Massey, Big G, Becker, Rashi, Rara, Dark Mark, Clem, Dolby, Goomba, Redmond, Rog, Nutmeg, Tushes, Gamerman, Gino Penta, Senna, Grit, Gunner, and Zero BHR will fill up the last spot on the grid. So that is obviously the driver's lineup as we head into the French Grand Prix at Circuit. Paul Ricard. Obviously, mixed tyre choices in the top 10. Some starting on the medium, some starting on the softs, of course. I don't know if there was a late entry. No, it's still the f full 19 that I did read out, obviously. Um, get your predictions in the chat, of course, of who do you think is going to get the top three. And who do you reckon will get the first DNF, if there is any? Obviously, sometimes circuit pool record can be a very boring race, but sometimes it can throw up some amazing battles between the middle and the final sector, going side by side through the tricky complexes. The lap record round this track is a 1 minute 32.740 by Sebastian Vettel in 2019. That is obviously from the present circuit from 2018 till now. But the former circuit, which was raced between 86 and 99, was a 1 minute 8.012 by Nigel Mansell. In the 1990 Ferrari. So since then the track has been moderated quite a lot since then. For a lot of time to go from 1 minute 8 seconds to of course a 1 minute 32. Woodson in the chat says Beckett is our DNF king so far. 
I think it's four DNFs in ten races attended, so I'm predicting a Sibnala. Yeah, that is a 40% DNF rate, obviously. From the commentary king himself. Obviously, there, will, there is a five minute break between the qualifying and the race for drivers to have a quick toilet and drink break. And obviously, to give the main streamer himself a little break before he comes back and gives us the best commentary for the live action itself. Obviously, I won't spoil it for you, but looking at the race director, there's a mixture of tyre choices going around. Obviously, top 10 start on the tyres they qualified on, of course. There was a debate, of course, obviously, if Magna Cores was going to replace World Card, just due to the fact it wasn't producing excitement as the former races around France. Obviously there's benefits and cons of each of the circuits. Obviously the last corner Magna Cores would not suit the cars of today. It was a much better racing circuit compared to poor card. I don't know when we are going for lights out. I don't know what time the qualifying finish. I didn't actually look at the clock. What do you put in the chat? Gumba says 8.58 lights out. So that is right now. So people possibly be ready right now. Obviously because it is 8.58 UK time. There's some colourful front wings laying in the pit lane ready. It's fantastic. Obviously someone, every driver's got a teammate, but tonight, because obviously they're not sharing the same liveries, some people won't know whose teammate's who. By the look at the pit lane, I'm going to say Grit is the garage number two. Trying to work out from the front wings. Massey would be garage number six. Number six? Who's that one? I'm back, guys, by the way. Just um, little lady just come back in. Uh, that, you expect a bit more that's, quiet stream from me. That's Massey's um, tropical front wing. you got Grits yeah, in great. garage number two. Rashi, I think it's Redman or Rashi just a bit by, after the halfway mark, isn't it? You've got the green down there. There will, of course, be double stacking, of course, ladies and gentlemen. Goomba says 8.58 lights out. We're pretty much accurate, I guess. I think we're all going, aren't we? Let's have a little look here. Nice here we go, then. Grid. The formation lap, of course. Oh, it's Big G in Garage 4. Big G. Big G. Oh, my guys. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm alive. So the, the drivers are doing their formation lap, of course. Tokyo Swish leading the way. Multiple predicted race strategies, obviously depending on how hot the track is and how the soft tyres will last, of course. Traditionally, you can it is meant to be a soft hard or medium hard. But the strategist is saying it's two stops, soft, soft, medium or soft, soft, hard. Interesting to see. I'll see it. Right, okay. Look at a medium runner from Rashi. Right, tie away. Uh, let's see, ties up. Fucking hell. So, uh, look at the predictor okay, strategy okay. from a medium runner, of course. The medium or hard? Medium hard, medium soft. It'd be one depending obviously on the individual's tie away. Well, I was saying the soft are not even going to last six laps. Yes, yeah, soft runners, you'd be looking at a two stop strategy, unless you could pull up hards for like 20 odd laps. Um, 
I'm just seeing if a medium runner's um, predictive strategy <laughs> comes up. That's a beautiful dark mark car. It's Benny's delivery at the back, of course, as well. Benny. It's like that art attack show is just hit dark mark's car. Oh, mate, I'll be all about dark mark. I turned around and said it's like Ed Hardy mixed with an albino chicken hatch. <laughs> well then. So, um, is that, um, yeah, the commentary's never got more professional in the day. Yeah, it's By the way, Big G. Redmond's uh, front wing, you've seen similar. that luminous green one. Not sure if it was Redmond or Rashi. Here we go, then, guys. Psycho Swish. Excellent pull time. Rashi, uh, Massey coming incredibly close. But, of course, now they are limited now to the soft tyres. Oh, that is a kinky looking shot, that. Oh, Big G. <laughs> big G and Massey. I don't really want to use the word big and kinky in the same sort of sentence, but you can get the drift, guys. Uh, so, lovely go. livery from Gunner. Oh no, that's zero, sorry. <laughs> Poor Gunners. <laughs> he got his livery shot down. Grits, by the way, the only driver, as you were, I'm sure Ryan mentioned, on that hard tyres. So it's given him two stop strategies for the soft runners, by the way. Can we have no punts out? Grits got hard on. Cards. Um, uh, but the punts there, <laughs> it's, it's written in the stars. <laughs> right then, here we go. Obviously, guys, as you know, any clips get sent in to one of the admins, of course, myself, Marcus Hall, uh, Brad Knox, Ryan Jones, or. Lee Wood. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at Lights Up stage now. French Grand Prix. Five lights, and away we go! That's a hell of a quick light launch. Brilliant launch Going from Psycho Swish. Changed. Big G Brilliant has launch. absolutely oh. done. I see Massey down in. Why is that? Mark has actually got something for. Where's, where's, where's Massey? What's going on? What's that? Whoa, what the. Whoa! Oh, carnage! Oh, absolute carnage! Who's that? I, I don't know what's. I see, oh, it's glitch, glitch timers, mate, glitch timers. Dark Mark has a penalty for multiple Oh, warnings. damage on that Megatouches! I'm confused as to who's where at the moment. I think oh. Swish is leading, isn't he? Gumba's been spun a little bit. There's Carnage at the back, everyone's a bit pushy pushy. Bloody hell, intervals. There's no interval at all, so I can't see anything. Uh, Mark has a three second penalty. Oh, shots the back. Lap. Gunners coming back on the track. Dolby, have a look at Mark at the inside here. Mark's going to go out on the outside, no momentum there, but right behind immediately, Clem is uh, just ahead of Rara. So we've got guys up and down the other hill, we've got a bit of a ding dong going on everywhere. The camera angles are absolutely shite as you expect. Gunners at the back. Uh, Rog actually is still in 18th, so he's actually running in 18th. It was Rog that we saw spinning at the start. Game so man, right behind like Redmond. Becker! Becker into P2 from fourth on the grid. Massey's had awesome a start dreadful start. Becker. Massey's been brought back towards Mark, and Rara and Redman having a bit of a ding dong. Redman trying to go on the outside. Redman damage. damage! Yeah, was that off Rara or was that before? I didn't actually see the entire incident there, but trying to basically keep up the camera angles are that good. They're bad. Um, I'm, they're, they're terrible. I don't know why. Um, um, Becker. Redman's not pitted. He is just... Yes, he's just looking to, keep, looking, looking to keep going, mate, potentially. Game of Man's made it to P11 from his grip position, and look at this game, has literally got... Oh, it's going to go three wide, look at Senna, look at Senna! Senna's trying to go on the outside, oh my god, he's going to make it! What's an overtake? I can't get any good camera, Senna's done both of them! Unbelievable scenes, and there you go, Goober on the outside as well, Gamer Man's still there, who's at 14th, it is Penta! Great driver awareness, oh! Penta. Penta and Zero, goodness me, look at the battle down here, holy moly! Gamer Man's going to be absolutely, oh, three wide, how have you got three wide round there? He's getting oh. back on. Oh, he's there. Jesus Christ, what an unbelievable driver. Look at Roger on the outside. Grit there on the inside. Oh, Gimman's lost it right in front of Grit. Jesus Christ. Lack of traction there. Oh, Gimman's pulled over to the side there. I think he just wanted to get out of the way more than anything. Him through. Yeah, hell of a good driving by Gimman. He's very inexperienced, mate. For Gimman to know that, have that sort of awareness. Just kudos to him. The second half of the straight is immense. I mean, I think the French Grand Prix is usually a bucket ball fest for more action than this here. Benny on Penta. You got your food, love you. Uh, we've got Benny and Penta, a zero on Benny. Oh, look at these two side by side battle for 13th place. What an overtake Benny on the inside. Race. Winner just got him. 15th place, Rog, 16th grip. Just looking up and down the order. Rara and Clem still pretty much nose to tail here. Redman, of course, with his damage. Do well to keep up in 10th. Senna is on his way up from 19th to 11th. Well, I think, no, 16th, I think it was Senna, wasn't he? Uh, 16th to 11th. I don't know. Where the fuck is it? Position changes. They got up six for Ben. Rara, right beyond Clem. This is be the next move, you imagine. I think, oh god, there's someone else right. Yep, there you go. It was Rara, so I'm trying to get my bearings here. The RS enabled P9 this lap. As it stands. Oh, here, here comes the train. Swish is 3.2 seconds ahead. Rabbit with a penalty. That's undoubtedly due to his lack of front wing. 
you would imagine. There's going to be a lot of penalties in this race, right? I've got a funny feeling, um, based on the kind of track layout and how much of a dick the stewards want to be to you. Rara, they go straight away, Rara, immediately. Three second penalty right after I said it. Um, so anyone actually has damage, Goomba currently in 12th, has zero, and Penta, who's looking pretty decent, actually. Um, Massey right tenth. behind Big G. Is he going to make the send? On, the, Massey, let's watch him. the late breakers. Brilliant racing. Trying Gee, to go for a switch back. Position. Brilliant defending. That Mark Championship leader watching this with pending eyes. Basically, he knows that Massey, if he gets past, Mark will have to start making a move. But of course, Mark on the medium tyres, the top four on the soft compound. Swish is doing everything he can right at the moment to do what he, well, he's doing what he needs to do, mate, to build up the gap. If he's going to be one stopping, he's going to need a big gap for the end, but of course there is. Penta on Gumba. Is he going to make the move? It's not on the inside of there. Mate. Here we go. Oh, God, Gumba, great driving by the two of them. Oh, goodness me. That was inevitably going to happen, the way the corner kind of undulates towards the outside from the inside, going around there, right around 11. It is the way it usually happens. I believe that's another penalty there for Dolby. He's just got one. And Dolby has Clem and Rara for company now, by the way. Uh, but we're going to go back here, because I think Penta's still not done. Goomba, oh, Goomba runs wide there. Loses control of the back end. Penta gets himself ERS. Full beat with DRS. But the ZR, he opened his ERS, so he got around the final corner. DRS, of course, helps him, but he's already through before the DRS zone. Penta up at the 13th place. Oh, so keep on board with this battle for the foot, yeah. Oh, Becker's gone wide. I got up Massey. Becker's wide now, that's going to kind of enable Big Cheek. Now, he was out at DRS range as well. Oh, he may just about still be. Let's oh, go, Big, Big Cheek's made wide. It. Big Cheek's gone oh, Big wide. Big made a mistake anyway. He made wide, he made wide, mate. <laughs> I love it. Go on. You know it's no, you know it's good action when you can't get your words out. That's what I usually fuck up. Clem on Dolby, Clem on Dolby. As well. Big action up and down the order so far. Battle for P8. Well, it was seventh because Clem just moved to seventh. Dolby into eighth. He's suffering on them soft tyres. He actually started in ninth place. So yellow flag, yellow start. flag. Yellow flag. That's Start. Becker. It's Becker. Becker's gone round. Oh, dearie me. That's not ideal. Soft tyres wearing out already. Oh, well, we Dark Mark on the there. inside when he made the move. No, Becker shuts the door and says, au so revoir. Rashi running wide. So, yeah, Becker. South African superstar. South African spinala superstar, should we say. That's a bit. Low rank, low rank, guys. Remember, Becker is the Mate, DNF king. There's literally battles. There's like eight or nine battles up and down the field right now. I actually went down to 15th a minute ago. Nutmeg Tukas. That's made a pit stop, right? Rara, right behind Dolby, coming, coming down, down the pit straight DRS zone. Oh, mate, this is looking... Here comes the Dolby's back in twitches. I'll be under a bit of pressure here from Rara. If Rara, can he get the move done? I think he's going to be... He's, he's going to be on the outside. outside. Here. But it he's will be the, the inside. Oh, It'll be the... Great overtake. Beautiful move. It's Dolby's not over yet, Dolby's hanging around the outside. Gets a three-second penalty for his troubles. That's... Harsh. Unbelievably harsh, in fairness. But Are we go down. Um, Rashi on Big Bevan, G. Bevan. Bevan on the outside. Rashi, Big G. Rashi's found himself pretty, pretty handily placed at the moment. The highest. Start right Mark on Becker. Tires. Here comes the, the DRS Chuchi so soon. Far. No retirement. Big G, uh, in a very, very key fact, has not got DRS. Rashi wasn't close enough to make the move this time. Becker. Center on Redmond. Top Center six. Redmond. He makes the move on the inside down the street. Senate has been on the absolute charge, but look at Zero right behind him as well. See, I don't think it's going to be as easy for Zero to get through at the very early stage. Massey has his six point advantage he needs. Would we'll see in the chat at this very early stage, Peggy. Massey has his go. over six point advantage he needs. will be very close oh, with Redman. Mark and Massey come the end. Ooh. Pent's doing his thing. Hey, that's what I mean. It's a championship battle, of course. We are bringing Dark Mark into the stream at the end of the race, of course, as well. We'll reveal why later in the long run. You'll know why at the end. He'll, he'll tell you. Um, if he's on the podium, that'll be handy, because we'll have to invite four people in later. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Rashi. Oh, Big G, Big G, loose the back end again. Make these soft tyres. They're on the verge of going a little bit south. So, I'm uh, Rashi, here we go. Up inside, is Big G fighting it? He isn't. Rashi up onto the podium positions and he gets a penalty for his troubles. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Becker then. P5, Mark P6, Clem is in P7. Very quiet drive for Clem so far. I've noticed when he got past Dolby, it all seemed to quiet down for him. Oh, Dolby. Senna. Senna. He's using ERS there. Can't go for a move there, surely. And look at that camera angle. Finally, we got a good one. 
Our friends over in lovely sunny France today are actually putting on a bit of a poor show for camera angles. We're on a bit of a better one here. I'm going to go back up, mate, to the battle in a minute. I'll keep on this. Don't be a little bit wide. This is well, mate. I'm on board with this, mate. It's the best battle on track at the moment. Oh, my God. This could be three wide. It's going to be fucking three wide. Senna to the outside. Zero. Oh, no. I thought he was going to go on the inside. Thought better of it. Is he going to try and follow... Um, Senna through zero. No, he's not, but that is Senna up into the up into ninth position. Wow, right, right, right beyond Clem. Do get Reserve drivers do get taken out of the overall standings, mate, but still, these guys are racing like they're going for a championship right now. Zero's gone for a move with the fast left hander and pulls it off. What a move. That's a right hander. I'm looking the wrong way. This <laughs> camera ranko, it looked like it was going left. The wrong right hander, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Those two are both the fuck's sake. No, oh, left, right, same fucking, same thing. Ooh, and that's Becker. So big G, sorry, coming into the pits. Rashi pits. Of course, that is. Oh, no, no, he doesn't. Rashi's Becker. Uh, it's Becker. It's the awkward Becker. pit lane, yeah. Becker and big G. Just kind of the way they kind of moved up in their positions. Uh, Dolby is pitting as well, so the top two have not pitted from their soft tyres yet, which means that Reels, imagine Rashi's going to start to haul in. Masia Rara's hauling in, Clem. Yeah, Rashi, Rashi's having a good race. I keep saying every single name he rhymes with Rashi or Massey, so I'm literally just saying every single thing under the sun at the moment. Uh, mate, good, good race by Penta. Ninth, Goober tenth. Uh, I don't even know if Penta is actually Dean or not. Everyone says it's TAR Dean take two, but I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on there. Gunners are still going around the back. No zero BHR is Benny. Oh yeah, that's definitely Benny. I mean, you race with him in the TIR, I believe, don't you? Uh, Rog has overtaken Gamerman. That is a battle. That Benny right going centre down the big street. These two, you'd imagine that, yeah, it's, it's, this is bread and butter, mate, isn't it? We'll flip back to the broadcast cam. See you later, mate. Adios. Spit shine my rear of my car when I come past. There you go. Happy days. He's through. Zero. Up into P7, mate. He's made seventh. Is he going to do a last to first again? He did it last week in Baku, which in itself is an achievement around that track, but around here, that's something else. But he's still got to traverse six cars. Lara very close to Clem. Dark Mark very close, close to Rashi. Closest battle we have on track at the moment is Rari. He ran a bit wide there, trying to make it a bit more of a wide Beckham, move around that corner. It's very G. difficult. Those two are pitted. What ties did they come out of? Was it hard to come out of? No, they got me. So everybody who's pitted in, other than Redman, is going, you'd imagine, for the one stop. No VSC or safety car or retirements at the moment. Incredible effort, guys, in France. And that's Massey into the pits. Massey pitted, but has that. Now, Massey will need to come out right by Big G. It's going to be intriguing to see where he lands here because Big G, yeah, he should get out in front of Big G. Behind Grit, that's kind of where you'd be looking to go. And so Rara still there, Grit as oh, it's Massey. Massey comes out the pits, does he? It's going to be a bit closer than what Massey would like. No, he's comfortably out. There you go. Massey returns out in P11. Game of Man with a three second uh, time penalty, of course. Tukas is having an absolute shambolic race at the moment. Um, as we go back to the tyres. Camara so, closed in on Clem. Rashian. Now, mate, another one, Rashi and Dartmark had themselves a huge titanic battle around Melbourne, which of course ended in Dartmark crashing off then in set two. Rara right up the gear box it's misty, is it? of Clem. This is, these are the two big battles on track as it stands at the moment, of course, with Becker and Big G having themselves their own little mini battle down there in 12th. So, uh, literally 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, all on the same straight. And the same camera pan. Here we go then, round the... This is, we're just on board with Rara now. Looking to... We, oh, these two always seem to end up on track together at some point in every single mm. race they do. And it is very, very close. Lap 8 of 27, ladies and Swish about to make it lap 9. Coming up to lap of course. We've just started lap 8. Oh no, lap yeah, 9. There you go. Why are Tyra <laughs> saying they're only eight laps old? He qualified on them. Because uh, they've come. Oh, it's, it's just based on like race time, etc. Me. Anyway, that's what I was saying. Uh, here we go then. So Rara, still, he's not close enough. Oh, who's that? I thought someone came out the pits. Then right by them. I can see things. Casper the ghost came out of the pits, ladies and gentlemen. I can officially see ghosts. Benny has now come out. He is in sick position. Becker with another penalty. Let's have a look at penalties so far. Becker has 12 seconds of penalties in eight laps. Nine laps now. But eight full laps. Shadow That's Viper, cool. the new follow. Hey Viper, welcome back into the channel, man. It's our new account for you there, buddy. Uh, 1204 follows, guys. I keep getting to like 1206 and then everyone leaves me because I'm an annoying bastard. Uh, <laughs> uh, here we go then. So, 
That is zero. Of course, Viper here watching his league representatives. I'm one of them. So is Rara. And so is Clem. Right, so we are still watching the battle for fourth place, mate. It's the biggest thing on track at the moment. Part of the uh, P2 as well, Dark Mark. Challenging Rashi. Still pretty close. That's another bit, guys. I'd rate that about 4.5 on the, on the on the bit brick to scale. Uh, no NASCAR tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be doing my football manager getting the first season of that out of the way. Um, so that's just a bit yes. of a heads up. Plus, following after. Oh, oh God, Rara just gone around. He's gone wide here. Zero at the inside. Can see Betty on. He's this not going to pull the outside on. He can't go around there, surely. Not on Virage oh, the Bender. Road. He's doing it. Hey, Viper. Well, oh, he's going to go back around the outside. Outside to inside to outside to inside, and he gets past Rara. What a fucking awesome bit of driving! Inside and Swish pits and in. Oh, Rara goes back for the move on the inside. He's run out of track. To battle there. Oh, Cycle swish in the pit. Swish pits. Swish in the pits. That's a lead. Where's he going to come out then? He's going mediums. Tires. Mediums. He's never going to pull this off, surely. I'm not sure. Rara's having a battle back at zero. And that is Swish behind Penta. He's going to come out right for the grip. And look at Swish and Massey. Swish and Massey. Oh, that battle's going to hot up in a minute. These two very close in qualifying. Now level together. But either way, Shadow makes a good view whenever I get a new follow. Mate. Much love. Thank you very much. So the battle for the lead now is between Rashi. Oh, game around a five second penalty for Cornica. Oh, dearie me. That's, that's a harsh that's one. Not exactly, <laughs> that's not exactly going to get on your Christmas card list, Paul Rick, I tell you. And here comes Zero now on Clem. Low ERS. But Zero has managed to drag his ass from 19th on the grid again. Oh, he's run wide, though. Will Clem be able to fight this? It's a very tricky. Once you go wide at a corner, it's very tricky to maintain it. But then, of course, it's hard right to do switchbacks due to the narrow nature of the inside corners that you're leaving from, that you're mm -hmm. exiting them. So it's basically a case of. Grit's gone! Grit's gone! Who, What's up with the grip? Uh, he's taken out all the polystyrene boards because he did a 360. Wow! I wish I caught that! Oh, I can clip oh, it, right, Fionn. Could you, could, you, could, you, yeah, could you clip it, mate? Because the lead does a montage video. Um, no, <laughs> not a screenshot, you special console. Middle, middle button X, middle button X, mate. If you, I reckon you've got enough time, yeah, you should be able to get it. Um, here we go, then. So, mate, Becca, the cheeky bastard, decided to go into fucking slipstream of him. Oh, where's Becca going? Becca's gone off! Oh, my God! I caught the start of the spin. Oh, whoa, whoa, Jesus Christ. Becker is the king of spin aisle, and he's just kind of proving his... Oh. Keeping his... Nay! Next Pelestorian board Becca, gone. Whoa, that's harsh. Could you make a note of that, please, Ryder? Remove 10 off Becker's time. That is stupid. Okay. He's given a 10-second penalty for spinning off the track. You come on safely, he's right. Okay, we'll, we'll remove that one. Becker, of course, will have to come back into the pits now. His tyres are complete and utterly shit all over. Um, so, well, that's just absolute wounding Becker, the guy who's running in P2 at the early stage of the race. Dark Mark for a move on Rashi for the lead. And he does take the lead of the Grand Prix. Dark Mark striking while the iron is hot. Gets himself in a P1. Sacre fucking Blair. Um, <laughs> that'll go in a highlight at the end of the season. Yep, Woodsy, I knew you grabbed that one. <laughs> Um, Rashi saving his ERS a little bit more. There's a zero. Ominously, he can look back from the. Swish is gone. Swish is gone. Swish. What? 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 Is Swish gone? Swish. Is it? Is this some? Has someone put an oil slick down and turned fucking turn eleven and twelve, turn set, nine and ten? Swish has spun off, and that's no wing damage, but it means that Big G. Uh, what does Swish? Did he just drop it? He Anything you see, any good overtakes, right? Any overtakes, mate. You see, slap that bloody thing, mate. Or oh, Becker's retired from the pits. That's a rage quit. Uh, would you make a note, please, mate? Would you make a note? Uh, rage quit. I think. Let me get my notepad out. I haven't done this for a long time. Uh, uh, Woodsy does it, mate. Uh, Woodsy, Woodsy's got it, mate. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah make a note if you can as well, right? Yeah, make it. Yeah, make a note if you can. Yeah. Uh, so why is he? Well, my cancelling the ten second one then. Oh, you don't fucking need to do that no more. The <laughs> is fucking done. Um, he's, why did he do that for? That's, oh, here comes um, Penta, sorry, get back to the action here. Penta coming into the pits. That was from P7, actually. Uh, wouldn't mind jumping in with you for a round if you need numbers. Looks class. Um, mate's message. I, I told you, Viper, th this is the league, mate. Message mark at all. We have been incredibly busy, mate, with shit that's gone. That's probably why he's not got back to you yet, buddy. Gumbo's just hit from fresh hard. So Obviously. Gumbo's on hard, so he's chasing down Penta. It's a yellow so flag. Yellow flag. That's uh, Becker, mate. His AI is still not left. Look at this at the first corner. Oh, my God. Goomba right behind Penta. Penta comes out in 13th place. I'll keep on board with the front two for you. Oh, yeah, if you can, I think, yeah, I think this... Oh, Becker's AI is causing... 
yellow flag, let the yellow flags for and Lello. <laughs> Lello flags. That's one for the record books. Like, why is Becca doing that? He didn't need to. Didn't need. To. Oh, it annoys me, bro, because you score points right every place that you come. So to unless like he's got proof of like game bugs or something or you know, because ten second penalties we can remove them. It's not a problem. If they're bullshit, all the drivers know this. That's. Well, he's dropped out of DRS. He's pitting now. Rowan and Clem are still there. Dark, Dark Mark! Dark Mark! What, what's, what's happened to Mark? Oh, Rashi's pitted. Sorry, I got really... <gasps> Benny! Zero BHR! Five seconds speeding in the pit lane penalty. That could be huge come the end of the Grand Prix. And that AI of Beckett is still going round. Fair play to the car. I'm, I know, fucking hell. It's gone further than his, fucking, his actual car did. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, Rashi Swish and Benny is... go for hard. Yeah, Swish easily clears. Um... Uh, ah, okay. He's put in the chat, Becca. He felt so... oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I can't. Okay. I can't see a message from Becca. You can't. You can't see. Oh no, it's, it's in the um, uh, Sunday drive chat. Mate. He said he felt sick. Okay. Well, I guess we kind of got to take that. So we can't give someone a fucking qualifying ban for. I cut. I, I cut a next <laughs> next <laughs> message. Just put, yeah, put, put a little note oh, we'll, we'll do that after. Dolby on Senna! Oh, Dolby on Senna! Dolby, what a, Dolby, all of a sudden, Senna's come out on hard, so Dolby is going to be on the quicker tyres, but he will need to pit again before the end of the French Grand Prix. Benny on oh, grip. Yeah, Becker's AI is still going Yellow round, flag! It's the yellow flag on the street. Is that? It's the, it's the yellow... It's the yeah, coming back in the pits. Um, it's still going. <laughs> but yeah, that's fair enough for Becker. If you didn't feel too good, then that's fair. But still, five DNFs in 11 races is kind of impressive. Um, here we go, so zero. Uh, it's done grit down the main straight. Grit, of course, had that spin earlier in the race, which I pointed out the M360. Grit did start on the hard tyres, so expect to see him begin to come through the field. Oh my god! Dolby's just missed the corner. You may as well go to the end, Dolby. You may as well go to the end of the straight, mate. He was out of the way. Yep, there you go. Did he. No. Oh, Clem with a penalty. Oh, for God's sake, another one with a speed up. Mark's going medium softs, by the way, Rai. Just want to point that out. You can tell he's he's gone too far to do mediums hards now. Um, so Bassi, second position, he's going to be hauling Mark in later. And so I'll pull him in now. Actually, fuck later. Um, so we got Swish. Then Big G. Swish has caught the three seconds on Massey in the last three laps. Now Clem and Rara. That was the big battle, wasn't it? Rick's going to clear Clem. Clem's just going to get up to full speed. Oh my god, this is going to be mighty close. Clem and Rara. Clem and Rara and Rara. Oh my god, they're going to go side by side at the first corner. Viva Rara! Oh, he's gone! He has to send it. Oh, he had it. to. I'm sorry, he starts racing. And no, it's, it, that's all good, mate. Clip it if you want, but that's all good. He had reasons. to go for the move, mate. There was nothing he could do. Rara had too much overspeed not to go for the move, mate. It would have probably caused even bigger, an even bigger crash. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Christ, watch when you rejoin him, bro. <laughs> Jesus Lord. Um, so he is in, um, third, oh, Tukas pits in, that's from 15th. Right, so the closest, well, there's no, oh yeah, Rara and Rebel, ironically, have become the closest battle on track now. What an absolutely insane race this has been, and we're just about half distance. Um, uh, no, Dark Mark leads. Oh, okay, another oh, five second oh, speed. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> it's like the hand that I'm out tonight. Here comes Rara, I've got a feeling someone oh, might have took out the speed limiter board. Yeah, has someone take out the pit, pit limiter board? Yeah, I was about to say, Rara's spin has just given Grit, and uh, yeah, there's Woods in the chat, has benefited Grit massively. He didn't need that spin, Rara. He's having a pretty solid, quiet race following Clem. Benny, Clem, absolutely cleans him down on Rashi. He's hauling him in, isn't he? Darmark pits. Darmark's for hard. Marks. What? And he's going to lose out to that all is... three drivers now. That's bizarre. He might even, he's going to fall down by Grit, isn't he? Oh, he's come out the pits. Here comes Clem. Yeah, he's gonna be. Yeah, he's sick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's sick position. Clem is. The, yeah, he's fine, mate. It's the Asia battle that we're watching. Look, guys, the battle for the final podium position. Um, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight drivers have not got a penalty yet. That's kind of impressive with this track, to be fair, at half distance. Um, so we're just on board then with zero. Let's watch. Third and fourth place. Big G and Rashi. Come on, well. let's have a look at the penalties again, guys, really quickly. 3-3-5-3, three, three, and three. obviously pit lane speed, pit lane speed penalties we 14 for Gamer Man, go on lad. He's, <laughs> he's, mate, do you know what though, at the end of the day, him and Gunners, they know they're not the quickest, they're not going to get the job done winning the races, you know what I mean, but they're always going to be there to compete. 
Yeah, it's all about finishing, you've still get points. Exactly. That's why Big Gunners are nearly in the top half of the table. He's finished putting last every single outing, but because of, obviously, we run off the SF1 points, so it starts at 35 and goes down to 1 for 20th place. So, you know, the more people that retire for Gunners, the higher up he's going to be. He's only failed to finish one race and he's only missed one. So, you know, it, it just benefits him. Just going around at the back. He, like I said, he's nowhere near the quickest. He, he's the slowest guy in the league, hands down. But the points are there. He's beaten off the table. <laughs> they are going to be better than him. And here we go, the path of third. He's really spicing up here. Oh, well, Big G's tyres are going to be shot. He's going to have to pit again. And there is Gamer. I think that is actually, is that Gunners actually? Speaking of that, well, Gunners is just up the road. There we are. Oh, look, that's Gamer Man. The two of them have very similar dots. Different liveries, but similar dots. And here goes Rashi. Oh, Big G, is he going to be able to get the move done? No, he's not. He tucks right back into the slip. And Dark Mark, by the way, after his earlier spin rise, you mentioned, is back up to the back of this pack. Oh, Benny's done oh, Rashi! Kind of spin, Benny's done Rashi! Benny's done Rashi. Oh, is he going to be able to do him into this corner? He's done he him. does. Oh, Benny, he's just got a penalty. Oh, yeah. second penalty for... Oh, <laughs> Hero to zero, the pun was meant. Uh, <laughs> now then, mm, Big G's got a flag. Get a flag. Get a flag. That is Black Dart. Rog, is it? No. Yeah, it was. It was Rog. Rog with that guy. What guy spinning here? There's too many black dots. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Should we try and get people to change the dots? Can you all have different colours, oh, please. They've got different colours. Just okay, man. Let's get out of the way here very nicely. He needs to get cleanly out of the way here. Let the other guys go, Gamer Man, come on. Let them go. Let them go. Not racing them. Come on, bro. I think we, the ideal thing is to break, I think, and let them go. Uh, and... Well, okay, well, he's not interfering, really, so I guess that's ideal. You're not Elsa from Frozen. <laughs> no, he is Elsa. He needs to let him go. Um, so, Big G, still holding on to P3. Psycho Swisher Massey! There you go, Rai! If you keep an eye on that battle for third mate for me, oh. I'm just going to watch my potential race overtake for myself here. Big G pits! Benny takes third. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Big G's coming in for the mediums again, isn't he? He's going to go for the 10 and 10 stop. Um, here we go then, so, Swish is... So Benny, yeah, penalty! Benny's third. Swish, okay. penalty! Swish, penalty. That goes along with his five seconds as well. Swish is going to have to be eight on Massey by the five? end of the Grand Prix. He had a speed in the pit lane. I believe, didn't he? No. That was his first penalty. Oh, must, I'm sh oh fuck. Sure you had a speed in the pit lane. Yeah. I'm sure you saw his name pop up, that's you saved it. Whatever that meant you yeah, had was, this made you trip. Ah, fuck it. Here we go then. <laughs> yeah, it was a Rennie. Some <coughs> things. Swish, up in a P1, but of course with the three second penalty there, forgive me. Get that right this time. Swish moves into the lead. Zero. Rashi and Darkmark. Rashi and Darkmark are together on track again. So Grit, mate, Grit is still going amazingly well at the moment. Quality stuff. He's going to come out in 13th as well. We're very close, if not yet. There you go. Gunners is going to nearly be on triple digit points. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry, the first one was Clem, and then it was Benny, if you remember, zero. But there was a few of them that spent into the pits, I think. Yeah. I'm sure they come up with Swish. I'm, I'm sure it did. But anyway, I'm tripping. Got me tripping. I don't think the front two are going to last on those mediums. Uh, oh, Swish will be borderline. Game man a penalty there for corner cutting as well. Not extending, it's just slapping it with the absolute hard cold corner cut penalty. Zero. Rush. Right, look at the weather. Wow. That's overcast. It was sunny literally last lap. Hmm. Yeah, moving on. Um, so that adds a bit more of a tricky trousers effect to the works. Um, zero. Leading the third position. And then we've got Rashi and that one all have three seconds of penalties. Of course, zero with that speeding in the pit lane penalty, which as it stands is going to cost them a podium. So on we go then. So on to lap 18 and 27. Fuck, this race has gone quick. Jesus Christ. Oh, who's that? That is... is That's very overcast. Yeah, this, we could see some rain here. And is getting nicely met out of the way, showing incredible respect. To the France guys. has almost got the same climate as Britain. The weather changes so quickly. This gun is beautiful stuff there. Mate, have you seen the way Gunners let Mark go through? Just eases out, eases off the gas, and that's how you do it. Lap 18 of 27. Psycho Swish, Massey, Benny, Rashi, Dark Mark, Great. He still needs to pit. Clem Senna having a great race as well. Don't forget that Penta on his account debut. I don't know if that's Dean or not, but Penta, ninth, and Goomba. 
Moving off the final points paying position, but of course Big G on the fresh mediums will be looking to kind of say something about that before the end of the event. Mate, what a race so far. Max just dropped over just a second. He's dropping. Swish pits! Oh no, uh, swish, swish pits. Now then, for what is the question? What tyre will Swish go on to here? As I open if mediums Pepsi, lasted open. less than a soft. Or do you reckon he's just kind of putting the softs on just to get them on, maybe? No rain has fallen yet. Swish has fallen right down in this centre behind him. Grit's pit the same lap. He's Grit's pit on the same lap. Yeah, Grit's got the soft tack that guys must think, well, Grit's very good in his tyres as well. Game man with another penalty. That's becoming a threading theme of this thing. I might just get myself a recording of it being played there, to be fair. At the centre. Chase Doss with Doss. This is going to be interesting for Swish. He's going to make Swish. going to have to overcome some serious odds here to get his second W of the season since Sanford. Right, of course, Sanford, round two. It was the last time that Jordan finished on top step of the podium, of course. Um, he would have finished ahead of... He would have won Bahrain, I believe it was, but had that penalty right at the end of the Grand Prix. Um, so, only one retirement so far, ladies and gentlemen. Grit, of course, has come out 13th. And we still have an incredible, incredible race ahead of us, guys. Just on board Massey to see climb. what he does. He's gonna have to pit. Sure, but he's gonna come out behind Senna. If he pits... He stays pits. out. God, no way. He's gonna go to the end, isn't he? If he takes those mediums to the end. He's gonna have to go to the end. Well, he, he's committed now. Unless he wants a, a bit of a fresher burst. And mate, look at the weather again, it's gone sunny again. The, the softs are gonna burst now. The sun's come back up. Reckon, yeah. Overcast was the ideal weather for the softs, wasn't it? Of course, just to cool the track temperatures, not been able to kind of overheat on them. Now, whoever's on them now will still will find a bit of pain, depending on how easy how easy you're on the throttle. Uh, Penta is just watching on board from Goomba's car, mate, watching eighth and ninth at the moment, giving Goomba some track coverage. Rara, by the way, has recovered to tenth place after his earliest spin. It's going to annoy him though, because Clem, who is side by side with pretty much, is running in P6 at the moment. Having himself a very, very quiet, very interesting, well, incident free race. Oh, Mark, right uh, behind so Rossi again. Just following that, mate, that's the closest battle on track at the moment. Great friends, but bitter rivals, as you can say. Oh. Uh, Dolby, five seconds. What is Dolby doing down there? Is he had an incident or something? Five seconds speeding in the pit lane for his troubles. I'm sure, hopefully, Dolby will let us know a little bit later as to what's happened. Tukas, by the way, right, is on a very quiet race, but he's still running in P16. No, it's mediums are 12 laps old. He's gone soft, medium shit, soft. Yeah. Yeah, but he's gone he's spun, Dolby, he's remember? Gone further up the grid than this. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, shit, yeah, he had that mad moment, didn't he, coming through the, the death trap chicane, as we can probably now call it. So, Mark and Rashi, the battle for the final podium positions. Zero is not escaping as he did in Bahrain. He's not enjoying this track as much, it seems, as he did. And our counterpart track at Azerbaijan, Redman, has just been overtaken by Grits. I believe they, they go down the long straight, well, down the shorter straight, of course, the second half of the long straight, as we can now call it. Up into P13, Mark is just not in a position to get Rashi. These two are just, just, oh, speaking of that, he's gone for a move on the inside here, Mark. He's gone for, oh, we thought better of it right at the last second. Swish is absolutely gazumping around the track. What a bloody lap that was. Jesus, well, he's got the fastest laps in the Eagle Woodsy at the moment. Swish, it's going to be hard to beat that lap. Swish has got it at the moment. That is a 1 minute 30. 0.951. That lap is literally two seconds quicker than what anyone else has done. Here we go then. We advance now. Lap 21 of 27. Hey, right. I told you it's not a bad little lead to commentate on, is it? <laughs> it's fucking awesome. These guys are crazy. Uh, so, lap 21, as we've said. Don Mark's over to Rashi. He's got him. Why was it when I go down? Look somewhere else. In fact, he's got him. Oh, that's DRS. I was about to say he's got him there, but yeah, of course he has his DRS, of course. Uh, Benny then, running in P2, as we said. Mark, Rash has come back at him with DRS, but he's got to watch his DRS. These guys are both under 10%. That is right, if I'm correct. Even if you activate your battery, it's a bit of a, le a lesser power boost, isn't it? If you're running in the bottom 10%, at least so I've been told, anyway. As far as I'm aware. Uh, so, 
Penta still running in 8th, Goob 9th, Rara 10th, Big G is up to 11th now by the way, and Grits is just looking to consolidate his position, he's right behind Rara too, so it's not going to be too much of a, a dent in the championship standings. Massey, Rai, would you say he's committed? He's going to have to go to the end now. Well, if he's not committed, he's being stupid. I was about to say, it's, this, this would be a bit of a lapse in judgement by Massey, but his tyres look absolutely eaten alive. Gumba's I mean. chasing Penta. <laughs> Actually, just on the back of the of Mark there, couldn't quite get the move done, but we'll watch that as we goes into the main straight. No actual crash retirement yet, which is a big, massive shout out to the lads. Awesome stuff. And now, now with Big G just behind him. There's a blue flag back there. I think that's for oh, the, oh pit stop there for Gamer Man. P9 at the moment, Goober. Following Penta, Rashi with the Rashi three, three second, second. That can be massive by the end. Remember, Massey's got no penalties. So even if he's going about two, three seconds a lap slower, mate, when it comes to the end, he's still going to be in a competitive position for a podium at the very least, just due to his lack of penalties. <laughs> he has a habit of not getting any, uh, so he's having another stellar drive, Massey, in terms of keeping the car within the two white lines. Ooh, though, big G on Rara. Even when you do. Cheers, fat, mate. Let's have a look. I think Big G went out the slipstream a little bit too early there, you know. Nah. He should still get the move done, which he clearly does. Pushing Rara back down to P11, which has brought him right back down to his divisional rival, Grit. That, by the way, Grit is in a battle for third in the table, right? Just to let you know. So an amazing, amazing thing for Grit there. Um, so as we advance to the latter stages of the race, we have got, once we come around this final corner, I believe we have got six, just under six laps to go for the... Front runner, which is massive. An unbelievable fucking race this has been. Non stop action from start to finish. And Rara's not done with Big G yet. And Braun Strowman's boys, I'm not finished with you! Uh, just a lot more intimidating and a lot more swamp like and manly, uh, I guess. Uh, yeah, I've not quite got the beard for that. Uh, <laughs> Goomba. Goomba on Penta. Is he close enough? No, oh, Mr. Answer. Great drive there by Panzer. And P8. As far as I'm aware, is, I, I'm not sure if that is Dean. Oh, he's AI. Is Dean. How can you tell? Oh, you're, oh, you're just going over to Kuska, are you? What's Dolby AI for? Dolby? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why you three might be battle for third. Let's go back up to this mate, sorry, Mark. Oh, Swish has come part of the foot. But, uh, make a note of that, please. Uh, Ray, I'm going to have a word with Dolby about that, see if he's okay afterwards. He's, he's not left the lobby, has he? He's, yeah, he's still in here, I've just seen that now. I'll have a word see what's going on with him. He might have met one, mate. Might have been busy, mate, you know what I mean? Ah, Swish! Oh, Swish! Swish at the back of Rashi! Is there damage? Damage? No. No, 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 no. We got away with it. Just made, he's got such a good run on the hard clad Rashi. He just literally tapped the back end of him. Big that is okay, ironically, that's now for a car it's battle for Rashi. Oh god, we'll get back on that in a minute. Swish has just done Rashi. He tapped Rashi at the backside, which inevitably has actually taken Rashi out of Mark's DRS, which has given Swish the move. Ma Whoa, Massey! Oh, Massey's struggling, mate. Zero's just holding him about three seconds a lap. Still with four to three to go after this. Ooh, look at the leopard print. God, Mandy Dingle would be fucking proud, wouldn't she? I've heard that fucking Simba wants his fucking spot. Oh, no, shit, that's a light, isn't it? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Wrong jungle animal. I don't see, I don't know any cartoon leopards. That's a good point. I reckon we should campaign for a cartoon leopard show. But anyway, Big G <laughs> is fighting. <laughs> Benji fighting Goomba now for P9. Goomba, no penalties of course mate, zero has put one and a half seconds on Massey in the space of a couple of corners in a straight. Massey has made the tactical error here, and, but if he pits now Ryan, he falls right the way in front of Penta. He's going to be stuck there down in P7. He may have to do it just, just to get himself through really. Yeah. Big G, with Big, Big G's not got away from Rara, but mainly because he's been held by Goober and Penta here. Alright, Mark, we'll get. Can we make a shout out to Senna? As well, by the way. Free car Still battle for second. Back. Yeah, it's. You know, when you say the word battle, it's going to be inevitable, really. And this is a championship.
count. This is a champion top of the table battle, mate. Massey being hauled in by Dartmark at a rate of knots. Massey, oh my god, you can see the he's gonna get a puncture, surely. It's full damage. Yeah, we're in full damage in this league. He's, he's Imagine Sim. Puncture. But Mark. <laughs> By the way, he'd be, he'd be in the piss for now. Swish on the inside. Get start mark up into, th into third position for Swish. He can still get zero here. Swish has been the quickest driver all race weekend, of course. Qualifying and the race. Well, obviously, because that's the entire race weekend that we do. So, yeah, kind of. This is. I'm just watching on board. Two mediums are going to go bang. They are. They got it. Tomorrow, mate, he's going to be. Well, he's going to be 20 laps on them. The yeah, the they haven't Massey's got to. Incredibly clean. But they, 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 they might. Got to, but they most probably will. Yeah, it's it's a high possibility there, mate. I mean, in, in normal physics they would. Mark's running ERS here again. Oh god, this could go badly. Oh, he, he gets back in the toe. I think he does anyway. Mark's gone for he's, he's actually going for this. No, he's not. Yeah, he, yes, is. he is. Oh, he's given a nudge. Oh god. Nudge, nudge. Three. Wink, wink. See you later. I'll take P3. They had hand they had handbags in Baku, of course. Of course, that race was Massey catching Mark. This time it's Mark overtaking Massey. And he makes it. Clems just key. took the pen. Three seconds. Um, better take a penalty now, anyway. Uh, <laughs> three seconds. Clem, shout out. Can't complain. Good drive. Senna, debut. Uh, no penalties. I believe he's um, guesting at the moment, Senna. Don't know if he's permanent or not. Uh, uh, so. As we advance now, guys, two laps to go. Swish has now got the... He's going to... Wait a minute. Penalty. Swish is winning at the moment. And Mark is second. Wait a minute. Mas Massey. Oh, my God. It's not over yet. It's by... Oh, no, because Massey's tyres are dead. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, he might fall a bit further down. No. Yet, Swish. Still within it. Still within the eight seconds. Um, in fact, so is Rashi. Benny could for zero. Benny could fall out to eighth place here. Fastest at the moment is Swish there, just for you there, mate. One minute thirty point nine. I believe that's going to be the fastest the entire way through the Grand Prix, oh. as far as I'm aware. Bye, Massey. rashi has got Massey. Yeah, Massey just has to. That's. But I think that'll be as far as Massey falls. Uh, hopefully on penalties, you can just cling to the back of a couple of these guys up here. But of course, there is no. ERS mate is there until the final corner on the main straight now so he may find himself in a little bit of a loss here at the moment Swish and Darkmark and amazingly Rashi are our podium getters Can I tell you there's going to be a five car battle for eighth on the last lap Oh god <laughs> Oh boy That's Mystic Ryan they're getting involved Speaking of eight car there's a two car battle here between Rara and Big G Rara going for a move at the inside Jesus Christ that could have been either legendary or absolute carnage and kind of funeral parlour, which nobody could attend because it's COVID. Uh, that'll be <laughs> so you don't want to you don't want to go out now, guys. I tell you, not gonna be able to see it. Grit is actually sitting there in P12, looking very handy. He will jump ahead of three of the cars due to penalties. Uh, yep. So it's Psycho Swish, by the way, uh, Lee, who is coming fastest. The very good end. Grit on the quicker tyres. Absolutely have to. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna get benefit of DRS. He's bet he's benefited with DRS as he got it. I don't, don't know if no, he just overtook. I believe that was Gamer Man. Right at the um oh, God, I get the two it was gunners, sorry. Right at the last part here. <laughs> Swish I fucking it's one of them, it's somebody, he's overtook someone, fuck it. Rara on Big G, Rara on Big G! Rara on Big G! Oh Big G holds it! But remember there is a straight coming up. The final DRS straight, pretty much in the well. Here comes yeah, the, the final grip, meaningful one. Uh, yeah, of course I can. I'll drop a screenshot, mate. Uh, right, could you drop a screenshot of the results screen as well, mate? Just so, just in case mine fails because I'm streaming. I'll do it. Uh, but we, cheers. I'll, I'll grab one as well. Yeah, because once he updates the tables, almost immediately after clips. So here we go, the guys. We are going to give Lenny at least the, the speech credit for winning the race, the vocal credit. But unfortunately, he's not done enough. But Benny, another last to face, technically. He loses it out because he's going to get P3. Boy going into the pits. Let's have a look here. Benny takes the checkered flag. But Psycho Swish takes the win. And Dark Mark third. What? 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 Benny only had five seconds to be added on extra. He had an extra three second penalty. Is it eight seconds? Yeah, they all had three. 
So there's only five seconds that he drops. Oh, f oh, idiot. <laughs> Maths. Senna's moving up to P6. Great drive, club, seventh. Oh my god, look at this battle of the line. I don't even know who goes away. Goomba's gone into eighth. Grit's gone to ninth. Grit's ninth. Penta tenth, Big G eleventh. Rara twelfth, Redmond's had a very, very sour Grand Prix after the spin. But he's 13th here, and this is where the anti climax goes. What a Grand Prix! Go on, game man. If you please make him bring in Swish. I'll do it, actually. Uh, swish. Zero. And Dark Mark. What an unbelievable pen podium celebration this is going to be, guys. So Mark, of course, gets himself on the podium. You're going to hear from him in a minute. Redman just goes, well, this is not exactly ideal. Uh, <laughs> P13 for Redman. Rog, who will be extremely disappointed. I'm turning on game my man. There. Go on, lad. Okay, yeah, there's only Gunners finished. I believe that was two ups down for Gunners. Three ups down for Gunners. Good stuff for Gunners. Get himself to the end as well. Right. 18 drivers finished the French Grand Prix. 22 lap oh, old horse by Redmond. <laughs> Even though Rod's tried not to finish. <laughs> Dolby. That's how you do it. He didn't break his car. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Uh. Well, that's no doubt. Here we go. Unbelievable sauce. Oh, Massey had a puncture on the last lap, by the way. I've just seen in the TSD chat. <laughs> Good, that's me. What an amazing race. So, it is... Uh, Swish claims the victory. Have you noticed that um, Dark Mark's head's got a lot smaller? Peanut head. <laughs> <laughs> Clem did a really good drive as well. Well done, mate. He said, fuck it, fuck fucking penalties in the chat. So we need to bring in. Oh, I'll, br I'll, I'll bring him in actually now while we're waiting. Uh, so, Grip, but not the worst finish considering I was facing the wrong way at one point. <laughs> we literally watched him in it. We watched him, didn't we, go around? like? So there you have it, guys. It's Psycho Swish taking the victory on penalties from, of course, Zero, a.k.a. Benny. Keep doing that, because everyone just knows him as Benny, don't they? <laughs> uh, so Dark Mark, of course, gets himself in third position. All right, and so... Uh, we have then Rashi in fourth. Massey will feel incredibly unlucky, but it was unfortunately the wrong strategy call. But he still comes fifth position, keeps the pressure up up top. Senna. But I, I, play F1. Yeah, my man, hit the wrong button. Hit the wrong button, shut up. Fucking hit the wrong God button, shut up. <laughs> play it, you dickhead. <laughs> Senna in sixth. Uh, that's be a reserve score for Senna. I think he's not quite a main driver yet. P3. I'll fucking take it uh, technically. Oh, yeah, of course. Rashi. Oh, Benny doesn't score, does he? Rashi just no. raining on Benny's parade, shitting on him before he gets on the podium. Uh, Clement 7th, Goomba 8th, Grit 9th, good drive by Grit. Penta, is that T.I.R. Dean, by the way? Penta, mm, no. Oh, he's not, I thought you guys were- oh, right, you were winding me up, okay, cool. Penta gets his reserve. It's going to take a lot to wind you up. <coughs> oh, confuse me. Uh, Big G, then Rara, penalties drop those two down royally. Redman, Rog, Dolby, Tukas, Game Man, and Gunners. All oh, 18 cars finish France. You guys are fucking turned damage off or something. And then Becker <laughs> comes into the only car DNF'd. He did quit the lobby. He has put in the chat. He felt sick. I'm assuming that's kind of a reason enough to let him off. I mean, if he's got to go spew in the bog, then he's got to. Not headed by how far up the gritty was. Really yeah, had some pace. He had some pace at the start. Mm. Did. Becker was really good. I, I did, I did anyway. see it in our party at the start. I was like, oh, watch this. Becker will be P2 by the uh, turn one. I was like, what did I tell you? And there you go, guys. What did he tell you? We're going to find out now if you guys can all include your audio. Uh, so, uh, Jordan, well done, mate. You got a win. Uh, not, of course, first on the track, but first after all, everything was taken into consideration, mate. Talk us through your race. Oh, man, the race uh, was was not easy. Uh, well, the first half was. A, a, a bit easier actually, just pulling the gap with Becker being a nice little uh, truly train for me. So, a shout out to Becker. Um, it was, all went fine and then I pitted, um, still felt fine on the mediums. And then it's like something happened with me and um, one of the new guy, like one of the reserves, um, I think just he wasn't aware of the ghost in cars. So Gunner's car like went through his and it's like he panicked, went wide, and I can't see anything in front of the two of them. So then I just take the normal race line. I just like as he came back to the race line, I got half spun. I was like, oh, well, there goes some time. So I lost like I think it was like nine seconds in total. And then straight away, I was planning on doing the one stop softs to mediums, 
but then straight away I was like, I've got to go put on the softs um, and then just go fly out. And it was not easy. Yeah, I must say, I, I don't think there was any way we would have caught Benny on the track. He just had too much consistency all the way through again. But um, no, like I said, you kept it clean other than the penalty. Uh, did you have a speeding in the pit lane penalty, by the way? Mm -mm. No. For sake, damn it, I was hoping someone would stop me going mad. I thought you did. No, I did. <laughs> nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Um, I know you did. I was like, fuck's sake, damn nah, it. Nah, I, I got the three settings, I was looking on the screen, and it was like, oh, but like Becker spun. I was like, wait, what? Look at the screen. I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, got a warning. <laughs> I was like, there we go. Attention, bro. I know, honestly. But no, nah, really, really good stuff. Uh, good, good performance, mate. Another, you got max points here as well because you got fastest stops of 36 points towards the table. Woohoo! Boost you royally up. Um, next track, can someone confirm what that is? Because once again, I haven't got a fucking clue. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you in two bit. seconds. Uh, da, 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 da. It uh, is Mexico. Oh, well, I'm happy to be commenting on that. Not Penalty racing City. Fuck for <laughs> yeah, we just had France, didn't we? So, mate, as we, I was about to ask you how it is, but <laughs> it's the um, answer. Well done, George. <laughs> uh, great race victory for you there, mate. Um, getting it on penalties, but as you say, you get it any way you can. Well done, mate. Um, I'll be seeing, hopefully speaking to you next week. So that is what he said, Mexico, on the chat. Cheers, Woodsy. Um, so, any second last to first, not quite the glorious finish that you expected, mate. Talk us through your race. Yeah, no, I mean, it was, it was still, I mean, it's still had a fun race. I mean, it was fun just cutting through the pack. Um, but when I was pitting, I put limiter on and then I thought I didn't put it on. So I pressed Y again and then I pressed the throttle and I just went boom, right into the pit lane at 50 miles an hour. So I was like, okay, all right. So it was on me on that one. But um, yeah, I was just trying so hard to pull away from Psycho, but because he bloody put the softs on, no chance. So, but yeah, other than that, it was a, it was a fun race. No points, but you know. And of course, you are SF1 Division 1 Ferrari, so you'll always get a nod from me, just to say. Uh, not <laughs> combined dot com. Absolutely, I am. Uh, right, we, oh shit, no, I'm not, so that's the wrong way to go, isn't it? Uh, right, we go. <laughs> but of course, um, I believe you start next week, don't you? So this will be the last time we see uh, Benny for a while. Um, yep. So, mate, it's been a pleasure having you on board, matey. Any, if obviously SF1 have any breaks, of course, you're always welcome back, bud. Yeah. Incredibly clean racer, incredibly quick. You've annoyed Jordan because you robbed him from getting the first on the line. <laughs> but there you go, happy days. Thank um, you for so Win win. <laughs> um, sorry, Jordan. I'm not really. Right, so uh, on to. <laughs> Fuck you. What a way to end the I'm, I'm, I'm fine with winning it that way because I got a Bahrain rip for me from a bullshit penalty, so sorry, Benny, but I know how it feels. <laughs> Do you know what, mate? Uh, you sound literally like a. You just sound salty. It's ready. You sound ready salted. Oh, uh, re oh ready salted, but ready salted. But you know what? I, I won tonight, so that's all that matters. But no, really, really good drive, Benny. Uh, congratulations, mate. Thank you. Uh, Dark Mark, a third um, on the. Not love. Yeah, okay. Yeah, nice. Oh uh, yeah, so Mark, sorry. Mate. Um, we are back with you, something. Uh, P3. What season you've had so far? Oh, beloved. Amazing season so far. Um, talk us through your race, bud. Yeah, it was quite, an, quite a good one, actually. I enjoyed that. Oh, what I will say, though, is well done to everyone. I mean, no VSCs, no safety cars, and 18 oh, cars of the 19 finishing. That was quality. Brilliant racing by everyone. But, no, I enjoyed it. Um, just keeping up with Rashi for the first stint. Um, tried to stay out a little bit longer. Came out behind him again, but obviously then Ben was chucked into the mix. Uh, got past Rashi, yeah, he's just trying to keep it clean. I got the penalty on the third, like second or third corner, I think, as well. Trying to avoid Rashi as well, so that was I'm going to go back to that actually before you move on. That is the quickest three second yeah. extending track limit penalty I've ever seen. Yeah. You, you, you must have extended every single corner I, at the uh, start. Ran wide. <laughs> I ran wide on turn two. Uh, obviously, got the track extension warning for that. And then. Um, Coming up to the like the second chicane, uh, I braked a little bit later than Rashi and just had to cut the corner to uh, avoid hitting him and cause him some damage, which is why I got the, the second warning and the penalty at the same time. <laughs> so it wasn't ideal, but I managed to keep it at only that three seconds throughout the whole race. So, ladies and gentlemen, you've got the you've seen the gauntlet beat that guys. <laughs> you got you can do it three basically three and five corners, three and four next week. See, does it? <laughs> Mark, floor's yours, over to you. Yeah, and obviously, as it's been 
common knowledge now, well, uh, over over the uh, party tonight, this is obviously my last race in TSD, unfortunately. Um, I don't, I'm not looking forward to uh, <laughs> the, the season I've signed up to in GP1 and SF1, alongside Zero. Um, don't do it! But, Sorry, what? unfortunately... <laughs> I had didn't it wasn't really given a choice and being in that league since well for the last three years I couldn't turn it down so obviously I'm still going to be in the background I'm still going to be an admin in this league um, I can obviously now be a non-biased steward unless your name's Massey um, then obviously then I will be <laughs> a little bit less lenient on Massey no I'm joking um, it means obviously handing the uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, lead over to Massey in the, in the standings but. I don't think he's. I think he's going to have a challenger coming up, or a couple of challengers coming up towards the end. So it'll be interesting to watch. I'll be watching all the streams as much as I can. Uh, but yeah, it's been interesting and really enjoyed racing with all the lads in this league. It's been a nice little community we've commu we've uh, created here. Um, and obviously another shout out to Poz as well uh, for doing all the streams. Really appreciate it. But there is one more you announcement. Really blush, man. That there's one more announcement that Poz obviously knows about. Um, Woodsy, listen up. There's, yeah, um, my replacement is going to be Woodsy. Uh, he's obviously getting himself an Xbox from uh, Poz, which is a very nice gesture of him. But what he doesn't know is it wasn't for free, and it's my 30th birthday present to him. So I'm paying for that Xbox for him. But, yeah, he'll be hopefully joining the league in the, the coming weeks. I mean, I know his internet's not up to, not too much up to scratch but hopefully he'll be all right we looked at it and he should be all right to race and uh, hopefully see him on the grid um uh in the coming weeks so it'd be interesting can, yeah. I, can I add my own thing in mark Go for it, mate. that's that's why i've not got your address off here because i already fucking had it mate <laughs> <laughs> so you have it, guys. yeah so cheers lads and uh, all the best for the rest of this season Big shout out to Mark guys in the chat and everyone in party man. You know what he's done for us, so big shout out, but good luck in the SF1 division one. Mate. Cheers, bro. You heartless bunch of bastard, if we give you a shout out, fuck them all then. Nah. <laughs> Take your ball and run with it. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. The <laughs> oh, it's fine, I'll, I'll, I'll drag him through, it's fine. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I, I'll be watching that division I'll be watching that division one. <laughs> right, you I'm absolutely happy. decimate me in the season, I have an absolute man. <laughs> no, you won't. Yeah, mate, a lot of people in the chat are saying, come on, Woodsy. I'm, I wonder if Woodsy's got a bit of a tear in his eye now, by the way. I know he's had a bit of problems. Oh, I forgot. To... Right, did you grab a screenshot, by the way, mate? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck, I forgot. <laughs> Shit. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, thank you. Oh, mate, uh, yeah, everyone's going mad in the chat, mate. Everyone's going mad in the chat. Apart from Rashi saying, fuck off, traitor. Yeah, fuck off, traitor. Mark's a dickhead. Well, that's not ideal. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah. Guys, it has been an amazing time having you, Mark. Well done, mate. Thank you very much for everything you've done for us. No worries. Of course, we'll be moving on. So, um, but however, the show must go on, as they do say in motor racing. And of course, we are back in around 16, 7 ago then for the Mexican Grand Prix, guys. You'll be able to tune into that 8.30 next Sunday. It's been your man, Poss. Uh, and of course, Ryan as well. Thank you very much for helping out again, Ryan. Taking time out of your own to do that for me. Uh, oh, he almost... Woodsy nearly dropped his beer, by the way, hearing what he said. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, um, no guys, thank you very much for watching, everyone. All the support you show on my channel in particular, the league is <coughs> incredible. So I just want to say thank you so much, guys. All the best, much love. See you in Mexico. Peace out. Adios. Bye-bye.